Hey, it's Paul Dysinger with Born to Grow Gardening University, and I had a question come in here from Facebook from Jonathan Sterndale. It said, will cantaloupe and squash cross-pollinate? Excellent question, and actually a similar one from Ricky Carter. What vegetables can be planted next to each other, and which ones should not be planted next to each other? You know, I think this is a great question, especially for people that are just getting into gardening. It's probably something that's on people's minds. You know, are there certain vegetables I can plant next to each other? Are there certain vegetables I shouldn't plant next to each other? You know, if, if cantaloupe and squash cross-pollinate, am I gonna come up with some weird cantaloupe squash that just tastes absolutely disgusting? It's a great question, so let's talk about it a little bit. And the short answer is kind of, kind of a yes and no. Um, the, the thing to note, is that whatever happens, whatever you plant this year, um, it's not going to cross-pollinate to where you come up with some weird fruit. The only thing that will happen is, the only time that will happen is if you are, sa are saving seed. And so if you plant two plants that cross-pollinate and then save the seed from them, that next generation will be the mix that might taste kind of weird. The, the no part is that squash and cantaloupe aren't going to cross-pollinate in the first place and that's when it kind of gets back to biology. You know how in biology you have your genus and your species and when it comes to cross-pollination it comes down to that species level and so even you, you might be interested to know that even in the squash um, genus there are several different species of squash. In fact, there are there are four main ones, or kind of three main ones. There's um, your Maxima, Mixima, your Hubbard squashes, your Moshada, that's your butternut squash, your Pepo, which is your pumpkins, acorn, s summer squash, and zucchini, and then there's a Mixta, which has a Kusha squash in it. You know, that's that's probably the less known one. But the main ones, your pepo, which is your pumpkins, acorn squash, summer squash, and zucchini, that's a, that's a species of squash. And so if you plant those together, say you plant acorn squash and summer squash next to each other, um, the next year, if you're choosing to save your seed, the next year you might get a kind of weird mix of acorn squash and summer squash, which you might not be too excited about. But, you know, the counterside to that is if you're not saving the seed, then feel, feel free to plant them next to each other because even if they do cross-pollinate, it doesn't matter. They're going to put on the right fruit the first year around. So it's, it's really only when you're saving the seed from them. But even when you're saving the seed, you know, you can plant... Um, Hubbard squash, which are from the Maxima um, species, with your summer squash right next to each other. And because they're from a different species level, they aren't going to cross-pollinate. So it really comes down to the species. And if you're, if you're ordering seeds from a seed catalog, they should list in there. I know Johnny's does list in there the species of the squash. And then when it comes down to melons, melons are actually totally, I believe they even have a totally different um, genus than the squashes and so they definitely aren't going to cross-pollinate. In fact I'm sitting here with some melons here on my left and there's some squash planted just a couple rows across on my right. You can definitely plant them next to each other and you don't have to worry about it even if you're saving the seed. Now you may have heard of something called companion planting and that might be something that you're thinking about, you know, what about companion planting? Are there certain plants that when they're planted together, they benefit each other? Or are there certain plants that when they're planted together, they absolutely don't benefit each other? And that's, that's definitely something to consider and something to think about. I would encourage you to go out and look up a book on companion planting and do a little bit of research for yourself. It's more of an of a art that has been um, observed over time it's not necessarily a hard science that these plants will definitely benefit each other or these ones definitely d don't but it is something that farmers and agriculturalists have have done over the years have kind of noticed you know maybe these plants kind of help each other out some and maybe these don't in fact I was talking with my uncle John the other day who has you know 15 or so years of experience gardening and and just this last or actually just this spring 
they planted tomatoes and I think it was some kale, some type of brassica with them. And he just felt that they, they really didn't help each other out at all. It wasn't a good situation for either of them. And I don't think he's planning to plant them next to each other. What it was was there was a row of tomatoes and then he planted kale in between and then another row of tomatoes. Just kind of using the space as, as best he could. And so it's something to observe when you're gardening. Look out and, and make observations and see how your plants are doing. See how they do well. Um, if they do better, you know, planted with another crop or, or kept separate by themselves. But when it comes to planting your crops next to each other, again, if you're not saving the, saving the seed, the little summary here is if you're not saving seed, don't worry about it. It's gonna give you the right fruit. If you are saving seed, then make sure that it comes from different species. Um, especially in the in the squash family just make sure that it comes from a, a different species from the other squash or whatever you're wanting to grow together and and then you're absolutely fine if you do want to grow two things of the same species and save the seed you'll want to make sure that they're quite a bit far apart so that way it doesn't have cross-pollination problems otherwise go out and feel free to to plant your vegetables in your garden make the best use of your garden space and do me a favor, share this video with a friend and make sure to go down and like my Facebook page or leave a comment below. Maybe you have some experience with planting plants next to each other and you, you've done a little observation in your garden and you've noticed that two things really go good together or, or maybe you've got some experience saving seed from something that just didn't turn out very good. Um, leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you.